taking a drive to the workshop because we're about to go under the hood. Today we're talking about injectors in your car, especially if you have diesel a diesel engine. I'm sure you might have heard of my own my injector. We want to talk about that today. We want to understand how they work, common problems that may come. It is 1126 Capital 100.4 FM. Harad is happy. We are ready. Under the hood. We are indeed under the hood. And today, as always, let me start off by welcoming our guests. We're also live on our Facebook page, by the way, so you can hop on there. Um, and you can also send us in your questions in as far as injectors are concerned, because that's what we are meddling with today. Um, today, we've got Dennis Tom, and he comes from um, Tom Diesel. Dennis, good morning, and welcome to Capital. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Dennis is... Dennis works primarily with injectors. I mean, just listen to the name of his business, Tom Diesel. That suggests to you that injectors is something that he is very familiar with. They are almost like your fork and your knives, Dennis. That's our food. That's your, <laughs> that's your food. Dennis didn't come along, and we always appreciate that. He came with Zeki also, who's coming from um, Tom Diesel. Zeki, good morning. Morning, how are you doing? Good, good, thank you. I, I, I'll never have guessed you guys are, are in the in the car. I, I, not to say so no new guagu meso to ya we are in account and whatever, but I just would never have guessed. When I came in, I was like, ah, this what it does. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I would not have guessed that you are in the mechanics uh, automotive industry. And lastly, but in no way, at least our resident mechanic is in the building, Clayton Green from Genie Parts. Good morning, Clayton. Top of the morning, great listeners. Thanks for having us, Malaki. Um, so let's get right into it. I'm going to start with you. Um, Mr. Tom, um, let's talk about injectors. What exactly are injectors, particularly when we're looking at a diesel car? Okay, for a start, um, Tom Diesel, we love the smell of diesel. Mm. So, everything about Tom Diesel is yeah. about diesel. Yeah. Diesel okay, can I also say I don't work for Tom Diesel, but I also love the smell. <laughs> <of diesel. laughs> I don't know what it is, but kind of go knacking the soca. Everyone loves the smell of diesel. Right? Okay. <laughs> okay, what was your question again? Yeah, oh, sorry, I distracted you there. We were asking you to just explain to us. Okay, currently, before my electric cars, we had petrol and diesel. And um, diesel usually is for heavy duty machinery, and petrol is for light vehicles. Mm -hmm. Dom Siano as a as a starting point, but also as you know, we have got um, petrol cars that are coming that have got injectors as well. Mm -hmm. So both diesel cars and petrol cars they are coming in with with their injectors, mm -hmm. but we specialize only in diesel injectors. Okay, yes. all right. So help us understand yeah. the purpose of injectors to fuel is it is it for the fuel system area what is it for what what is the purpose of my my okay. injectors in in the in, in injectors 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 wow. in layman terms my injectors do an a fuel combustion could is it say could it to any motion to any traction to any combustion saga my injector and one of the sera with the fuel ed pin the combustion to any combustion Mm -hmm. Got you. Mm. And I'm guessing with this fuel system, mm. which the injectors are part of, there are also other elements as well that are working together. Is that right? Yeah, it's a chain. It starts from, from your tank, your fuel gets um, into, the, um, into in the injector pump, the injector pumps, pumps fuel into the injectors. First of all, it goes into what is called the rail, from the rail into the injectors, mm -hmm. the injectors into the engines. Okay. Okay, all right. So let's talk about the early engine, early diesel engine. What were the injectors like? I know that's a weird question to ask, no, right? No, it's not a weird. It's, a, it's an evolution. Mm -hmm. uh, my early engines, they used um, what we call the mechanical fuel system. The mechanical fuel system didn't involve Mm, electronic system, mangas nama computer box or whatever. Right. It was just purely mechanical. mechanical. Okay. From 
injector pump mm -hmm. to the injectors. It was just mechanical. Right. But now, I think from 20... Around 2000, mm -hmm. the common rail system came in. So basically, most of the vehicles now, mm -hmm. especially passenger vehicles, they are running. I think we can say 80% they are running on mm -hmm. common rail systems. Mm -hmm. That's what we have now. Okay, all right. So I, I, we are hearing what you're saying to my engine. but it's not dizzy. It is shaking my 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 cylinder. Uh, uh, Adam engine. Uh, uh, I'd imagine there are problems that can come in when there is either a, a, a problem somewhere with the ejectors. Okay. Zeki, yes. talk to us. <laughs> uh, when yeah. we start talking about injectors that are causing problems, normally what is going on? Um, like to, to the layman's uh, view. Mm -hmm. Maybe actually, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let mm -hmm. me bring you back a little bit. Yeah. So, um, Dennis has just explained to us what injectors are. Mm -hmm. As you are trying to answer the problems that do come up, can you explain to us how actually the injectors are working? But how do it? How do they work? Okay, fine. <laughs> right. uh, we come back to issue a mechanical injectors and mechanical pump mm -hmm. back in the days. Mm -hmm. If we had to use the term in a mechanic. Mm -hmm. Pump no a like a controller idling starting revs they send my smokes mm -hmm. my injectors i ain't go loader fuel my pistons a pure signal on the injector pump right now in this modern day there is common rail pump ya can go feed my injectors but it's now for the injectors to think mm -hmm. idling starting revs emissions Rabas are injected. Right. That's why you see now, you seeing more cars are smoking in the roads. Kudara chin one, chai control, lama smokes, heavy pump. pump. Right. But now, it's a combination. Junu four, so from a we run. Some engines are powered with a, a four cylinder engines, some are eight, some are six. Mm -hmm. So if it's a four, it simply means those four injectors are from a we run. Right, I have a ring around the window. Right, same as video motor. Yes, right. So, right now, they go farmer, they smoke, but people they think it's normal. No, 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 it's not right. So, no, from okay, and okay, all right. Taiwan has moved even as one or two no one motor the dizzy needs a canoe. I remember putting my iron on the DID meaning direct injection. Diesel, I'm guessing, or diesel injection direct. I don't know. Do you think a shiriva to know the kinds of D4D is that connected to what you are describing in terms of how the fuel is getting to the cylinders through the pump, which which now you're saying I was not pump. It's just now the common rail you are my injectors now that are doing all the thinking diesel. Yeah, the injectors now no actor more than the pump than the pump okay. it used to do before the system air. Yeah upgrade uh, okay. to where we are for common rail. All right. So uh, when certain diesel cars started coming in, the Mizaida that it quite it direct diesel injections. I revichi because we revichi. I think you have an idea what I'm talking about, right? Yes, you know what are this the motion side direct injection. Right. The tight tower it was an upgrade from what? From indirect in indirect combustion. Which is coming from the pump. Can I step in with that? Yeah, yeah, so what would happen there um um, is the older systems right would spray fuel into the what's called your intake manifold mm -hmm. it would flow spray fuel into the intake manifold and it would have to flow down a chamber as it goes into the chamber it then gets to your combustion section and then it the combination of what a diesel injector is doing is it's spraying a fine form of diesel picture like a can of deodorant spraying mm -hmm. uh, a deodorant out of the out of the cylinder it sprays this fine foam so that as this foam gets into the combustion chamber mm -hmm. at a particular point at a particular position of the piston mm -hmm. there must be combustion mm -hmm. right on that particular point of combustion right there's an explosion when that explosion happens right the piston is forced to go down and that cycle continues as the engine is revolving induction 
compression, fire, exhaust. Mm-hmm. So as these four motions are going through the cycles, right, you, 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 it's been found that diesel engines would produce more power in the sense that a diesel engine has the ability to carry weight, mm-hmm. to carry heavy loads and stuff right. like that. They're hence the, 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 the turnaround from a petrol engine and, 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 and a diesel engine. So what your question refers to is with the D4 engines mm-hmm. and the direct injection systems, what they've decide, uh, discovered is that for better efficiency, it's mm-hmm. better off to have the spray, the flow, Directed to directly, the directly to the piston. Right. Hence, this is when you get your DIDs, your D4Ds. D4Ds. It's all a different type of, 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 of so system. Same concept. That, uh, same concept, but a different, different type, type of, of system, of system right. but more efficient. Got you. So are they different types of injectors? Oh, yes. Yeah, wide range. Wide range. Wide range. Wide range. Okay, what are the main types of injectors we are seeing in, in Zimbabwe? Let's talk about the main four. But just the main four that you are seeing, particularly the ones that are problematic, maybe. In Zimbabwe, basically, we've got uh, main two. Mm-hmm. We've got Bosch and Denso. Denso. Okay. So your D4Ds, most people, they drive the Toyotas here in Zimbabwe. They are powered by Denso. Mm-hmm. Which is a brand, is that? It's a brand. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, we've got the Bosch. For your Mercedes Benz, it's powered by Bosch. Mm-hmm. It's for but, but are they are they different in makeup in the type of the injector? It's like Aqua Fresh and Colgate. No, they are, they are, they are, they are different. 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 Yes, they are different in the sense that um, the operating pressure of the injectors they differ. Mm-hmm. Pressure determines our power. Mm-hmm. So each 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 injector, each model. They've got their own oh type of of of, of um, setup. Mm-hmm. So we've got, like I said, we've got the Bosch, we've got the Denso, we've got the Siemens also. Mm-hmm. It's popular in Zimbabwe. Ford for Ranger. Your, for your Ford Rangers. I think those are the main. Yeah, main three. Those are the main three. We don't. We've got the Delphi, but it's quite yeah, limited. Okay. Yes. So we've got. Okay. And all these are now direct injection, are they? It's all direct it's injection. It's all direct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's all direct. What is the CRDI or CRD? CDI. Mm-hmm. It's the same. It's the same, same principle. It's the same principle. It's just the manufacturer. Those who see maybe one guy in a table, Maliri, or something like that. Okay. Uh, all right. Clayton, you also spoke about how you know a diesel engine is mainly when you want to get more power output out of a car versus yes. a petrol engine. Mm-hmm. So when we see little sedans that are petrol, mm-hmm. like little hatchbacks that say it's diesel, sorry, not petrol, it's diesel, is that a good idea to opt for yeah. a diesel engine even for little cars? Yes, it is. Because what's happening is as technology progresses, um, what's been found is that the finer they can get that spray into the engine, Mm -hmm. the better the combustion, the better the explosion. So you find like the early generation diesel engines, from my understanding, would probably produce, say, 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 two and a half, three and a half PSI of pressure to ignite, to ignite the valves and all of that bit on on the injector. Mm -hmm. But now with technology, Mm -hmm. it's found that the, these diesel injectors that we're talking about on all the common rails and all of that there it's a combination of mechanical injection mechanical system and electrical system Mm -hmm. right the combination of the two has allowed technology to 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 have us put a spray that's so fine Mm -hmm. into these cylinders that it doesn't need to be used on a massive engine they've brought the size of the engine down from seven seven, seven liters down to 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 to, to 1000 cc engines mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they've really refined that the process mm-hmm. of how it all works mm-hmm. to such a point that it's now v- viable to run a small diesel engine economically powerfully and reliably mm-hmm. all right it's 20 minutes before we get to midday we're talking today about um f- injectors in your car if you have any issues that you may want to throw at 
um, our panel today, particularly to do with injectors, do so on 0719-100-404. And earlier we were talking about what we need to do as a city to improve the litter situation in Harare, especially because we've also seen how other cities are doing much, much better than we are. How can we as the capital city find ourselves? How can we accept those titles? And I was telling you earlier about a lady who told uh, a man at her gate to pick up the litter um, he had shrewd. And I dared you to imagine what taught him this lady, uh, you know, bears for her to be able to confidently tell a man at the gate, and you are right. You're right. You're right. Shikanzi, um, carburetor versus injector on a petrol engine, which is more efficient? Like this? Oh, carburetor versus uh, injection system. Mm -hmm. Petrol uh, versus injector, yes. Oh, what do you think you can answer that? Second, sorry? The uh, listener is asking which one is more efficient, having a carburetor or an injector in, on a petrol engine? Oh, most definitely the injection system is a lot more efficient. Mm -hmm. If you look at the whole concept, the whole idea of how the injector actually works, mm -hmm. right? the injector is all working off of a computer box that's measuring and metering the amount of fuel, fuel going into the motor, the amount of air going into the engine, mm -hmm. the driver's intention reference, his acceleration his acceleration position sensor, mm -hmm. the load reference, the hill he's climbing or the or the flat road that he's on. So you find like the, 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 the concept of the diesel injection system, the concept of injection system totally out out outperforms the, the old computer. school carburetor system where it's relying on how much air the motor is sucking to, to, to provide the fuel. To provide the power that you need, and and and, mm. and it's it's a lot more tunable. It's a lot more friendly. It's a lot more efficient. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh can go GD six no kwana papi panyad zema D four D D I D so that I should tower up. What does that does that mean anything really, or it's? You wanna take this? It's like it's like saying three eighteen versus saying three fifty. I learned that over. Or is that different? <laughs> okay. Dennis, is is what does, does that mean anything? GD six. It was just an improvement from the D4Ds. Mm -hmm. So um, they still use the same type of injector, uh, Denso, or they contracted the same company, Denso, to provide them with um, fuel system. With the fuel system, but now it's now more efficient. I mentioned about pressures mm -hmm. um, on um, on D4Ds. We are talking of maximum pressure of about. 1350 bars that is produced by the injector mm -hmm. but when you come to the gd6 we are talking of about 1800 bars what basically it means is there's a good thing can i tell you any more pressure mm -hmm. fuel in the area more fine saga that's more power okay less emissions right was the issue upon the equity we must have uh, less emissions mm -hmm. with more power. With yeah. more power. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my injector, mm -hmm. and I'd also imagine even the fuel injection to the injectors must also happen almost simultaneously. What's controlling the timing of these things? Because I'd imagine, but but when a caribim, caruitika, so I'm not talking about the same Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. So, so there's timing and coordination that's happening there. What's controlling the timing to make sure because if there's combustion, this is a fire, I'd imagine. Yes. I mean, this is layman's talking here. Yeah. So now to the layman's talking, what I would do, yeah. now this comes back again to the engine, mm -hmm. how it rotates, how it moves. Yeah. We go back to the crankshaft, how it's designed, the shape of the crankshaft. Yeah. It has got lobs. One is up, one is down. Mm -hmm. So the time this should re receive, and the time the other one should receive will be different. Yeah. Are you like? Is it possible to have problems with timing? Yeah, it's really possible. Okay. Timing gives a hell lot of problems to many people, like to many mechanics. Mm -hmm. So, like that's why Mr. Green is here. Yeah. Right. These are timing experts. Right. We work end to end. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I service injectors or if I service an injector pump, then Mr. Green fails the timing. Mm -hmm. Then there there's is no problem. Yeah, there's right. no coordination. Okay, let's talk about that. Clayton, how do I know that my car is mistiming in terms of this coordination with the injectors and the whatever, whatever? I would 
step it back a little bit to 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 the layman is it, it's a bit different in the sense that for you to know that your car is not running properly mm -hmm. you you would probably find there's certain factors that you'd look at ask yourself when you start your car is the engine as smooth as it normally is if your engine starts and maybe it's got a a, 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 a misbeat in other words it's starting and it sounds like there's a cylinder that's not firing or yeah, it's you feel like lumpy. there's a, a drum beat like, like this yes, you know, yes. It's <laughs> exactly there's an irregular drum beat when it's idling when it's idling when it's revving maybe it's not pulling very well mm. those could all be indications of an issue developing with an injector to say timing has gone out timing does not normally lose Just itself mm -hmm. setting mm -hmm. right something will have happened maybe a timing chain tension is gone or the guides are worn out or your engine has developed a problem whereby the the factory setting of the points of your top dead center bottom dead center induction compression fire exhaust if that sequence has been been affected and lost then you would get an issue with with it but you as the layman behind the car when you turn the key and you start the car if it's a modern diesel right is the car starting easily mm -hmm. is the car delaying to start when it does start is it is it is it emitting lots of black smoke is it emitting lots of blue smoke mm -hmm. uh, um, things like that there and it is, it's up to you to take the vehicle into to, to service providers like Tom's at Tom's diesel mm -hmm. or us at Genu parts yeah you bring your vehicle into us and then we have trained technicians that would look at the vehicle check the timing is the timing in its correct place yeah if it's an electronic vehicle, like one of these modern vehicles, we plug the vehicle to a, a, a diagnostic machine. Mm -hmm. Tom has the latest diagnostic machines. Ooh, so, so, yeah, so, yeah. Do I, so do I. Yeah. He's, some of the machines are so advanced, and when you actually have the right technician behind the machine, the yeah, technician okay. can actually get into the, 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 the sequence of the injectors. Wow. Actually check the health of the injectors. Check are the injectors firing where they're supposed to? Mm -hmm. are, they, um, are, they, are they, which injector is misfiring? Mm -hmm. That's just technology working with, with, with the right hands. Yeah. Okay, uh, Zeki was also talking about, I, I think actually it was you, Clay. Yeah. You were explaining about the process of um, combustion means there's air that's coming in. I, is there, is it possible that you can develop a problem with the air coming in that's then affecting the process of combustion and the injectors, I think. Yes, that's very true. But uh, one thing we should uh, thank Anamaj Kokota, Nemura Zaako. For you, the users, you, you don't know much about this, eh? Mm -hmm. Now, if you check your dashboard, there is always an engine check light which you pop out if your car is misbehaving. Mm -hmm. Whether it's limited air, injector fault, yeah. That's the advantages now. Got you. You just, if you see a new engine check light on your dashboard, look no further. Okay. The ones who drive Africa are there for you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, 8944, who's calling himself the Nubian King, because I'm the Nubian King, <laughs> <laughs> has come through <laughs> with a question. And I have a question for the guys. I have seen several people, people mixing petrol and diesel. See, for every 25 unleaded petrol, one adds 5 liters of diesel, 50 ppm. And I asked why, and they said it's good for cleaning injectors. Can you clarify this? As far as I know, when you mix different fuel systems, it messes up the car. Dennis. <laughs> It's Dennis, you're not looking alarmed by this. Is there some truth to this? No, it's only people they like to to do my experiments. But yeah. um, if you open your your fuel cap, yeah. Um, my manufacturers they actually write the type of fuel that you, you are put. supposed to use mm -hmm. for your particular vehicle. Right. So, it's a question Ah, But the manufacturer on a fuel cap, they always state the kind of fuel so you should use. You, that you should so use. in short you're saying no you're not supposed no. to be adding five liters you're not no. supposed to be mixing no. the fuel systems. It, it affects the uh, viscosity so once viscosity affects you it affects your injector okay okay taking you back okay i will explain that later okay all right so okay. Uh, so speaking to these concoctions you can go to the same as a paraffin is dangerous 
Yeah. The bad part is, wasanga nsa petrol ni diesel, wasanga nsa paraffin ni diesel. Ma injectors za kwa chafa. Mm -hmm. But, the problem I perere ipapo. Muchaita naro, yukura mba mchira na mota. Fio, ichaita over, fio ma chambers. Mm -hmm. Then, your rings will be gone. Wanu waka wanda wa ma engines, because of fuel problems. Right. So, my conviction is that zero are yeah. my injectors. Right. My injectors will start overfueling. Mm -hmm. And piston is going to be a diesel. That will affect the piston. That will affect the rings. Mm -hmm. The bow of the block will be affected. So, if you have to turn my injectors and stuff, your engine is gone. Mm. Because of something you tried. Right. That's okay. why you see so many cars are parked now. Okay, mm -hmm. and speaking to that, contamination of injectors is a serious problem. Serious contamination problem. Very from serious. your concoction, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but also dirt and debris can also affect the yeah. injectors. Can you get in the station? Okay, so later, ne, ne fuel like uh, like diesel, mm -hmm. you know, you know, create a non sulfur, sulfur is like water. So, I fuel yako, okay, some tank through my temperature changes. Tank ma kumu develop amfora over time. Temperature change ringi shivu much. Ani maga paka pazua. E. Muta irukuta muenda pamvuri irukuto norwa. Muno create kama amfora. Okay. Mu mu tank ma. Okay. Over time. Kuti utwa dira amfora. We call it sulfur. Okay. There will be sulfur in your in your fuel in your fuel system. So. That you know, damage my injectors, okay. You know, damage your fuel system. But what happens, uh, there's a good thing, Vura you know, got a pass tank. So, the danger that we have is when one other could drive a motor, yeah, Kusikaya pair of fuel. Five dollars in and sits up a cat. So the moment you I do that, we're all guilty of that in this day and age, guys. We sat down. We sat down. We sat down. We sat down. What about nitrous oxide boosting? That's a good thing, but dangerous. Mm. A lot of groundwork needs to be done properly before you can even think of boosting your engine with NOS. Right, your combustion, your 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 whole combustion theory is is thrown out the window. You you find your engine your engine with NOS in it. Right, um, has a higher explosion value mm -hmm. per se. Mm -hmm. So you, th if you really want to create a bombshell, put nitrous oxide inside a diesel engine. That is asking for problems. <laughs> if you're going to do that sort of thing, your car needs to be remapped in the sense that your injection values need to be looked at, your computer box needs to be looked at, your compression needs to be looked at. NOS is not something that any any. DIY person can sort of like just yeah pick up and and play with okay all right so um Clayton you were talking um about let's talk about some of the problems we have in terms of um, our injectors but before we do that uh, we're talking to Kuda um, who also sent us a message who is having uh, problems Kuda good morning and welcome to Capital uh, um, thanks so much for sending in your question. So you are saying um, your 2.5 diesel Navara, when you start it in the morning, it has high revs up to 100 RPM. Then it drops after one minute or two. And you want to know what that could be? Yes, I was asking what's wrong with that. Because it never used to do it, but now it does it. Uh, it goes up to 1,000 revs. And then after a minute or two, it drops down to the normal uh, heightening, which is about, I think, 750 or so. Okay. Clayton, I'll start with you. What do you think is going on there? Okay, well, is the manufacturers have put in a system in most of these cars where you've got what's called an automatic choke. Mm -hmm. It's found that for the engine to perform well, right, it needs to warm itself up. Mm -hmm. Right, you'll find that from cold and only when it's cold, you'll find that most cars only do this in the morning when you first turn it, turn the ignition on and start the vehicle up. The engine will run and run at an, uh, a slightly higher uh, RPM okay. than normal. Mm -hmm. But once you your, your 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 temperature your coolant temperature sensor mm -hmm. which is probably in that vehicle that's on that vehicle that's got that computer box that can register that it, it, it it's it's now cold mm -hmm. i need to run at a certain temperature when i've hit a certain temperature i can now bring everything down to a normal idle idle temperature and a normal idle rpm a normal R 
rim. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Kuda also says. Okay, all right, I get that. Okay. Uh, Kuda, you were also talking about a black cloud when you rev the car. When you say when you rev it harder than normal, Kuda would stick up after Bavona, she would see your bacha, just as a chip black. That is, I'm, I'm a layman, but I know that means danger, right? Yeah, because it, it does that. And I think it's why I'm saying I think it's not normal because I have another diesel vehicle, a Toyota Prado. No matter how hard you press it, you don't see that black cloud. So I was thinking, uh, what could be the fault with this Navarra? No, black cloud is a problem, right? Uh, my basics. Uh, first, check your air cleaner. Because can I not take a rechoke digger? Unwana that black smoke. Because in English, you enough air. Okay. Hello. Okay. Right. Uh, so check the air cleaner. All right, I get you. Y- yeah, check the air cleaner. Check uh, air cleaner. Can I air cleaner? Can I write to check a foot? Also, my family are quit. I'm from table to the engine. Pane mm-hmm. inon the intercooler repo. No go no get a var and it's in. Okay. Yeah, you also had another question, Kuda, about your Toyota 2KD on a highest quantum. What's going on there? Yeah, this is a problem. I'm not the only one who's facing this issue. Where you open it up a number of times, the change is basically as a And no matter if you put in the, these injectors from service, it still will not start. Despite everything else being okay, the timing is okay, but the injectors, like the last time we opened it, uh, the mechanical thing is over fuel, so I need to get brand new injectors now, and these ones that come from service. And this is what uh, Zeki, you were talking about, right? Where you find that there's there's too much wetness, my piston out, mm-hmm. which is going to result in more problems. Exactly. So, so what do we? What's going on there? What is Kuda, what is Kuda's problem on on the two KD? The the two KD is just for starting. And then we, the mechanic said we need to check the injectors. They took out the injectors, we took them to service, we put them back, the car still would not start. And then they took them out again and said the injectors are now over fueling. And now I have to buy brand new injectors. And the brand new injectors are costing at least a thousand bucks locally. So uh, I'm asking, what is this problem with these cars? Because I see a number of them parked with similar problems. Right. Kuda, but I inaku atrangi tayi pedza. Okay. E, Mwata ishi njidi ziruku pakwa, niya eku pedza fiwewe. Like what we're saying, kuti diesel runo create mvura, ya it's not sulfur. Saka you would find, kuti, if I can take you back a little bit, mm-hmm. ukawona mwata zino import wa jinji, ze diesel, zino fira murod, mwata zino vauna na UK, mm-hmm. zino fira murod, tichi uya. Why? Ada kwa unati, fiwa ikapera, light rikatuka, ndinufamba okay, distance ya gadi. Thereby, haku unwa fiwa ye pasi, ine mvura yae. Motika riofa ma injectors. That's why you'd find, most of those cars you find them by road. Kote taka importa mota hii, hainaka na utombo sukakumba. Saka, our biggest problem, yedu irikutengi. You know, I advise people, kuti, try haku maintain a fiwa yako, ir above quarter tank. Mm-hmm. At best, half tank. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kuda, thank you so much. I, I, I'm just sorry. I'm going to have to catch you only because of time. We've got to go to the news. Like no, we appreciate you, uh, Kuda. I was thanking you. Have a good day, Kuda. So this is where we're going to have to leave it today for injectors. But Tom, uh, Dennis, you're here. Kindly give us your number quickly just in case we may want to get in touch. You've got to do it quickly. It's 0772-399-333. Mm-hmm. I can repeat again. Sure, quickly. 0772-399-333. Three three three. Clayton, there's a list who's complaining to your number. It does not seem to work. Yes. Please give it again. Yes. Okay. Zero triple seven six thousand three two. Zero triple seven six triple zero three two. And that's all we have this week for Under the Hood. It is Capital One Hundred Point Four FM. Harada Zappi. Becky K is coming up next on the Pulse. It's twelve o'clock. It's time for the news. Under the Hood. Zim Papers Radio Broadcasting Division. Uromende icharamba ichevandu za mitemo ineche kuita.